Right now at 430, we are learning more about the person killed in a series of back-to-back -back crashes on I-95, that chain reaction crash involving eight cars happening early Thursday morning. And it took the life of a local activist, and now we're hearing from his brother. Local 10's Leanne Morahone is live for us with this story. Leanne? Yeah, and the victim owned a business that was right across the street over my shoulder. I spoke to his brother who says that they still haven't really come to grips with the fact that Danny Agnew is gone. They say it doesn't feel real to him or his family. Just completely devastated. Phil Agnew has yet to wrap his head around the tragedy. You know, I found out about 24 hours ago when the Florida Highway Patrol called me. The crash that claimed the life of his younger brother, Danny Agnew. Right now, it just still feels a little bit unreal. It feels like we're in a little bit of a nether world. Agnew was behind the wheel of a black Tesla at 2.10 Thursday morning when it somehow lost control and slammed into a concrete wall. The crash caused a chain reaction that ended with Agnew being thrown from the vehicle and run over on the highway. And all eight vehicles were involved in the crash, which sent several people to the hospital and shut down a portion of I-95 near 62nd Street for hours. Daniel always is a person who's loved community and was able to bring people around. Agnew was born in Chicago and was the second youngest of four brothers. American history is black history. He was well known as an activist working to uplift the black community, even opening a business called Roots Collective in Liberty City. You know, Daniel is and was a huge part of the spirit of everything that we've been doing in the community. And, uh, you know, without him, it feels like we've lost a really big anchor. Denny Agnew, just 34 years old. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. The family has started a GoFundMe to try to pay for funeral costs, to try to give him uh, the burial that they say that he deserves. If you'd like to contribute to that, you can find a link on our website, local10.com. Live in Liberty City, Leanne Morejon, Local 10 News. Leanne.